Here are the three things you need to know about the weather. Now for today, a beautiful sunny and hot Sunday ahead. Along with that, a cold front will bring a line of showers and thunderstorms. Some of them may be on the stronger side as we get a Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then I'll give you an update on Tropical Storm Sydney as that system continues to weaken. But right now, things are looking very beautiful across the Grand Strand NPD. Coast of Carolina University uh, in Conway, crystal clear skies out there. Also in the Myrtle's Inlet, a few folks walking the beach this morning, watching the sunrise. Temperatures very comfortable in the 60s and 70s. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be a great day to be at the beach. We're talking about temperatures mid 80s, mostly sunny skies. We'll see a slight chance for a stray shower from the sea breeze, but overall we're going to be on the dry side. Great day to get a tan. The UV index is very high for today, so make sure you put that sunscreen on. And overall for today across our area, mid 80s along the beaches and then for many parts of the PD, low 90s. But add the humidity aspect to it, it's going to feel a lot like in the mid 90s. So better keep yourself cool by either staying inside or going to the pool. If you are doing some yard work or working on the garden, make sure you keep yourself cool and hydrated this afternoon. As we head into tomorrow, we'll see temperatures remaining the same. Hot, humid, mid 80s along the beaches, low 90s for many parts of the PD. But we will start to see those storm chances return the forecast, especially into Monday evening. Breaking down the forecast tomorrow, mainly dry, mostly sunny skies through lunchtime. And we'll continue to stay dry in the afternoon. But notice this as we get into 8 o'clock, a few showers uh, start to pop up ahead of the cold front. They'll be arriving uh, late tonight. And so this system, you start to see a line make its way by midnight. Now continue to track towards the east. Again, you see. Some of these storm cells may be on the stronger side with these high reflectivities of pinks and reds that indicates the intensity of the rainfall even some gusty winds along with that. The Storm Prediction Center has elevated our region into a level two risk for severe weather where yesterday they shifted that severe threat more west. But last night they shifted it back east. So our area is under that level two risk for severe weather. The main threats will be um, mainly gusty winds, uh, some small hail along with that heavy rain. So this is not widespread, but mainly it's just going to be pretty much just uh, isolated from those storm cells. But after pretty much Tuesday morning, we start to dry out Tuesday afternoon, mostly sunny skies, temperatures remaining hot, upper 80s on the beaches and low 90s uh, for many parts of the PD. So it's going to feel a lot like summer this